what's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Golden Sun. Last time, are you, are you, are you kidding? Me? That's actually okay because there's Dirge here, which is another new enemy we could find in this area. Um, let's quickly run through it, and we're gonna remember to use Gear to just attack. Uh, he's put me thinking about getting like non-attacking. Jin is that I don't ever really use them a whole lot, so we're kind of stuck using just Jupiter. What I'll normally do, my normal battle process here, is use all the attack Jins and then um, use a summon. Yeah, we don't have to worry about. Oh man, we're we gonna kill him before he even gets to attack. Oh, uh, we sure are. Okay, so we got to see his animation. Good enough for me. Dirge, they're level 11. They have 91 hit points. They drop 61 gold, 47 experience points. They have a 6.25% chance of dropping a nuts. They use flying attack, which does uh, um, additional damage. Uh, it also has a chance to do double attack damage, which is a little bit of interest. I think level 12. Maximum HP goes up by 8. PP goes up by 3. Attack by 4. Defense by 2. Agility by 4. 181 coins. Alright, um, there is... Another enemy, my notes say could say here. It's the next, um, it's the next version of a skeleton, but I don't think he's here. I think, I think that my source lied to me. And you can also find him in future areas, so we're gonna actually move on. Oh wow, there is no cutscene, so I didn't even have to stop the episode in the cave last time. Whatever. Young Master, did you complete the test? Yes. Why, you have mastered the secrets of Fusion Temple? Master Dianpa's waiting for you. See to the temple, I will! We just have mastered the secrets of Fusion Temple. Pfft, no problem, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Alright, do you guys. I don't actually know if these guys say anything new. Did you know that the forest up ahead used to be a vast prairie? No. You don't believe me, do you? Well, it's the truth. You see, the gems fell from the sky, and the next day, there was a forest where the prairie used to be. Oh, okay, good. It does tell us about that. Good. They say that the prairie became a vast forest overnight. Now, Ampa is the only person who can pass through the forest now. Even Ampa doesn't know what the bad prairie turned to a forest. Oh, we kind of know. I don't feel safe going home alone. Oh, he still, he still mind reads the same thing. Okay, so some of the text has changed. That's good. Ampa's not eating in days. He's gonna waste away to nothing. So, no, um, let's say no this time. You know what you mean when you say that? Sure, let's be extremely. Well, one may have different opinions in this world, but I wish you could understand our beliefs. If only the world worked that way. If everyone, if everyone understood each other's beliefs, the world would be a much better place. I'm traveling the roads. Okay, you say nothing new as well. Um, let's use a synergy stone. So you're wondering, what the heck? It gave us a new ability. We haven't even had the chance to use it yet. What the heck? Oh, my note just fell. You guys heard that. <laughs> Excellent, Isaac. I'm glad to see that you mastered the secrets of Fusion Temple. I already forgot what his voice was. We monks call the power we have obtained Kai. Key? It might be Key. You seem confused, Isaac. Yes. This is called Force by the Western world, but it is, but it is really a spiritual power. I will teach you as pro as I promised. Use this power to go through the forest. What would happen if you let loose this energy in the forest? Aha! You're curious, no? I am curious! Monsters that wait in hiding would show themselves. You would then try to defeat them, would you not? Yes. Sometimes you, mu you must let go of your belief that fighting solves problems. Monsters are cowardly. They'll run once you know that you can see them. They are creatures of the woods, so they do, they do not get lost there. Is that it? Huh. One coughing fit later. There's energy to fight the monsters and follow them. It is that simple. Now that I have passed on my knowledge of key along, I am without worries. Farewell, Isaac. Take care of yourselves. <clears throat> All right. So uh, we will be coming back here at some point, but not for a long time. You'll come check out Benaya and Paul later on. Yep. Yeah, that's uh, that's it for the um, step. Like I said, you, this is completely skippable. That's a waterfall. Sorry, I flipped out the not the top of the screen, but like right beside me. I always thought that was like a weird tower, like a grain elevator or something. I was always confused. I never realized that was a freaking waterfall. That just blew my mind. Alright, Mogul Forest. Woo! Alright, so in Mogul Forest here, um let me turn my page! We got oh, we got turning again, good lord. <coughs> Mogul Forest. Okay, so in addition to seeing Dirge. Spirits, 
Um, there's one, two, three new enemies here, and two special enemies. Broken Side Reach, North Fusion Temple, South Mogul Prairie. <gasps> so of the prairie. So, like I said, you do not need this ability to go through this area. We're going to be using it a lot, though, so I'm going to set it to it. Um, it says you're going to get lost, and what that means is I'll run to the east here. This place looks familiar, ding it. <gasps> Wait a minute, what? Is this... Is this... What? What? It led around in a circle! What the heck? But if we use swords on here... The monkey monkey will show, show us the way! Um, the reason why I don't need this ability is because it's not like if you went this way, the map would still repeat itself. You could just wander around through here, and you will eventually find your way through the forest. That actually kind of makes things a little bit scary for me as well. Wait, what? Okay, we need to get our make our way over there somehow, I think. There we go. Oh, never mind, we've seen all these, these scrub lords already. Pfft. I don't want no scrubs. Ah, uh, sweet. Let's see if we can get to unleash his weapon, so I can stop worrying about it. <laughs> Yay, he dead. Arctic Blade, there we go! Uh, let's have a howl, blizzard! Uh, it drops attack, you see it drops attack by like 33 or something, that's actually a lot, holy crap! I will happily take that. Um, alright, well, we've seen it, now we can ignore it for all eternity. There we go. Oh crap, I actually wasn't paying attention to who... Okay, good, we're fine anyways, doesn't matter. Awesome opossums. Um, can we reach that, I wonder? Doesn't look like it, what if we go over here? BAM! Okay, we can't. <clears throat> so essentially, all these like logs, they might have something on it. Ah, hello. So this is an ape. Um, he's level 15. He has 290 hit points. Drops 160 gold, 96 experience. He has a 25% chance of dropping a vial. Wow. Um, so you might think like this is like a special enemy. You can actually just randomly encounter them around. So 25% chance of dropping. That's insane. I didn't realize that. <clears throat> If you kill him with a margin, you have a 100% chance of getting a vial as well. That's very weird. Um, his attacks? Well, there we go. That's his attack. It's ransacked. That's, this is his only attack besides normal attacking. Yay! Oh, there we go. We just got a vial. If my notes are right. There we go. Cool. Awesome. Alright. Uh, I don't think anything happened. Nope. Let's not mind read this stump. So, yeah. Overnight, this place turned from a prairie to this giant forest, which is kind of confusing to me why there's logs and stuff everywhere, which tells me. This can't be true. Oh, we can push it down. Haha! <laughs> I'm an idiot. Confirm. And for the first time in a long time, we can actually get another one here. Oh god, I remember. Wait, what? Is there, this is not the way? Show me the way! Show me the money! Show me the money! Uh, do you have anything? Nope. Use Jupiter. Jupiter! The only thing Shin we get will be an attack, Shin. Everyone just has like one attack and it kind of suck. I think, right? I think everyone has a one attack one? Yeah. That is correct. That is correct. There we go, ice. Nice to see these enemies actually get to shine a little bit. It's poopy when they don't shine a little bit. Get the show off. Show me your moves! And now they're all not dead. Great. <laughs> I thought they'd all be dead there. Uh, I think we can just finish them off. Weird that goes a spear too by default. You think it'll go in the first one. Hey, Randy! Here's all level 12, master the guard's heat wave! Uh, HP goes up by 8, PP by 3, attack by 3, defense by 2, agility by 4, offense level level 12, magician! Master the magician's sleep! That's an important one. Master HP goes up by 7, PP by 4, attack by 3, defense by 1, agility by 4, and a bunch of coins. Coinage. Alright. Um. I did not figure out how to do this in my practice file because I figured it would be simple. Can't be from there. You can't. You can, it's, oh, good lord! Bone fighters. Okay, so this is actually the guys I thought were. That's my note said we're supposed to be in Fusion Temple, but they're here for some reason. So uh, all right, we'll go over them in one moment here. As soon as I get to me a TX8 FDV two. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> okay, so bone fighters. Go back here. Um, they have level 11. They have 122 hit points. They drop 63 gold each and 51 experience points. They have a 3.12% chance of dropping a 
Uh, Sleep Bomb, they have the ability to use Undead Sword, which is a strong attack, and that's it. Let me quickly cross these guys on my list, because otherwise I want to forget. I'd be very confused in a future recording where it's like, Oh no! Did I talk about these guys or did I not? Which, I say it as a joke, but that would actually stress me out a lot, so... <laughs> oh, we gotta start... You know what? You know what? He's nice! Sorry. Uh, you know what? This will 100% kill. Attack with Fiery Bolt. Fiery Bolt, interesting. Uh, he's 6 PP and also can only attack one dude. And sleep! Well, multiple enemies to sleep. And we also have Impact now, which we have in Chester as well. Um, we'll use Sleep first. And we'll just casually attack you, just in case this doesn't kill him. One fighter three, he falls asleep. That's like defending. Wait, what? Oh, right, because the heat wave. Oh, undead sword. Wow, that hurt, actually. Here, you see it? What? Let's see what actually happens when you have multiple status elements on an enemy. You'll see it go sleep, and then suddenly you see also both. That was heat wave. Actually, a very useful spell. Um, I guess we'll go back to some of that. The good thing about uh, Ivan being so fast, we'll definitely get to see his boost Ily's attack. Only one guy, though, which is unfortunate. Ooh, we won't be able to land this in time. That's me as much faster than I think she is. His attack uh, Ivan's attack goes up by 20. There we go. And sleep bomb! There we go. I figured we'd get sleep bomb. It is only possible to get one item per kill, I believe. I'm pretty sure that's a thing. <laughs> I could be wrong, but I think so. Okay, yes, everyone's fine. Uh, what did my Jin look like? Okay. There is a way to get this. I know there is. There we go! Has it gone nuts? I knew it! Alright. Force! He goes right. Even though, like, you're supposed to go the way um, they point out to you, it is actually kind of wise to sometimes go the way against the grain. I believe this is looping, right? It is, okay. That's a good way to test if it's looping. If you go through the same screen twice and then go back, if it puts you back, like, in the main area, that means you're not going the right way. Sometimes, though, I know there is at least one area in here that you can go that uh, it doesn't look like you're supposed to go, but if you keep, if you're persistent enough, it will lead you to treasure. Um, that I actually did not try to find in my practice file, so hopefully I won't miss it. A little bit scared of that, but hopefully he'll be fine. <laughs> hey. Let's get through these guys quick, and there is one more enemy we could find wandering around here, so hopefully we'll see him. Unless my notes are wrong again, which it could be, but I don't think so. I believe I remember fighting them when I was going through this in my practice file. Practice file, practice file, practice file. Maybe we should stop talking about that, you silly gooseman. Bramble Seed, there we go. We haven't tried that yet. We should do that. Alright. Ah, there's two stumps here. Now it's mine, read you silly gooseman. So, you go south. I like to go south. It feels like I'm going this way. They're both greenies, okay. Okay, so one went south and one went east. Never eat soggy wieners. And... Just as I thought, it's the wrong way. Okay, so let's try going south. Death Head! Perfect! Um, this guy's level 12. He uh, has 120 experience, or hit points, I should say. That'd be fun if I kill him one hit. Drops 73 gold, 55 experience points. is a 6.25% chance of dropping a nut. Um, he can use Slash, which does damage and impair which lowers my defense if he had used it if he ha even had a chance in this world i think the way forward is east we're gonna go south first see this looks like it'll loop around right but i think we keep going all right nope this is actually the way we want to go so let's try going east first i'll put my mind at ease i think this is gonna lead me to a treasure yard oh dang it oh gosh dang it if i didn't react to the battles i would be able to cut it out dang it i'm such a fool for love so just, wow, we're getting that siph siphon seal. It should be. It keeps looking like it's gonna be called Summon Seal. We should, we should. This one probably dealt with them quick. Alright, I guess summons. There we go. Attacking is really only worth it if you have all your Jin to set, to be honest. There we go, perfect. We go here, mate. We got ourselves an apple! Uh, did we get some out? Yeah, we got the Bramble Seed right. We're gonna use that in battle. We definitely have not seen that before. Loose attack. Isaac's our best attacker. Do you want to continue that trend, or do you want to give it maybe to someone else who's a bit weaker? I guess we'll give it to Ivan. Wow. Up by... Six. Sorry. Very simple math is a very difficult thing for me to do. 
Alright. <laughs> Let's go south again for real season this time. There we go! Uh, me is now level 13 Water Seer! The mess of the Water Seer is restore! Max HP by 7, PP up by 3, attack by 4, defense by 2, uh, agility by 4, Andre Yahoo's. Take a look at Ivan's health. 76 right now, he was down to 6 health, and I had to use the stupid ring to heal him. His HP just went up. Wait, did he just level up? That was me that leveled up. What is just happening? His HP was just 76, was it not? I'm confused. I don't know what just happened there. Another fun fact just jumped to my mind is um, when you go to the top of Mercury Lighthouse, Ivan and Mia actually get all their synergy points back. Don't know why, but that's a thing. Alright, so we're gonna want to do this Pesce Faust. Don't be an idiot like me and move this rock to the left or right, just push it down. I don't know why I did that when I first played this, but yep. Or at least in my practice. It hurts to say that. Okay. Ugh. Push that low! Gosh dang it! Look this bone fighter's little gloves. Yeah, three bone fighters is actually kind of a scary combo, especially if they all use like undead sir, which seems to do 50 damage consistently. That just might be how that attack works. <sighs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Hope you like my impression of bone fighter. Boom saw. Let's push this off this way. Hopefully there won't be an evil monkey in here. Perhaps we should heal just in case. This ransack is a pretty formidable spell. Force. Really? We gotta just. There we go. And... Ah, there we go. He was hiding in that one. How'd he even get in that one? And we're just we're just gonna move on now because there's nothing going on over here. Just kidding. Uh, all right. All right. Time to fight another Jin. Jin. I like that doesn't tell you the name. That actually kind of adds a little bit to it. I think. Uh, who got a new spell? I should put him to sleep. Because this um, Jin has the ability to flee, just like all Jin. At least we're trying to put him to sleep. That's the perfect time to actually. It's sheep! I never know so it was sheep before. What the heck? I was all sleep bombs on that fell from the sky. Um... Okay, so this guy has abilities Earthquake, Spire, Gaia, Mad Growth, which is me, Briar, and he can also flee, like I mentioned earlier. I really want him to go to sleep. Listen here, go to bed. Uh, he had... Couldn't find him on his level, he has 349 hit points, though. And... Ooh, genius delusion. But that might not do a whole lot. Alright, I think we'll be okay based on the fact that... We have granted up. Should I heal? Oh, I guess I might as well heal him, actually. Next time we could use him to read. He's nerd! Gaze, don't you dare flee, asshole. Although, I really want him to eventually flee. Okay, great, great. I should have gone. Wait, what is, what is that even using? What did he use? There we go, I felled him. Never mind, doesn't matter. 172 experience points and 200 coins is what he drops. Good, good. Alright, um, this Ginny gives us a base plus 10 HP, HP, plus 3 PP, synergy points, and plus 3 agility points. The Venus Ginny course joined Isaac. Um, okay, so how this guy works is he revives the downed alley. Which is a big reason why I collect... Actually, I guess I could... Well, let's use the summon. You, This one you don't, don't really get to use a whole lot. Um, this is the first time as well we're getting a Jin that doesn't, like, you know, boost, like, status effects or anything. It, it revives it down to alley. But not always. That has a 50% chance of working. And when it does work, they will be brought back with 50 hit points. which Or 50% of their hit points, sorry. So that's really cool. Um, and like I was saying, a big reason why I am um, a big fan of collecting... Um, ba -ba -ba -ba, waters of life. Since once you get uh, quartz, you can seriously just you can keep using them over and over again until it, it revives someone. And also, unfortunately, it makes the great healers a little bit more useless in the game because you just use quartz and it doesn't cost an arm and a leg. Alright, here's Cybel. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. I don't know if I am or not, to be honest. Kind of a bit underwhelming to me. I thought Ramses would make a better... It does a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Whew. Hot mama! But, uh, you'd think Ramdus would make a better third level spell, at least looks-wise, than, uh, um, than Cybele, but... There we go. There's symbols. Which are you? Are you on left? Okay, what if we go south? Probably just gonna loop around. However, this force looks a little different. Okay. 
It's 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 looping. It's a looper. Dang it. Death head. Look at dispose of you, palette slops. It's unfortunate. There's like I guess this is probably a limited Game Boy space, memory space. Issues. Oh, Isaac's level 13 knights. Master of the Knights of Ragnarok. Awesome spell. Master XP up by 7, PP by 3, attack by 4, defense by 2, jelly by 4, and 73 coins. Great, great. Um, I don't want to end the episode here, but we're at 20 minutes. Hmm, let's see. At least let's get to a new, like, um, not intersection, but, like, main area of the dungeon here. Here we go. This seems like a good place to end it, right? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, the best way to support me is by leaving a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm trying to trying to position myself facing death. Close enough! I'm trying to get myself centered. In the next episode, we'll most likely finish Mogul Forest and see what lies beyond the once Mogul Prairie turned forest. Talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye!